Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. <sighs> it's the holidays. Feels it. I feel it. Denise is still here helping me. Uh, today we are going down to the house to pretty much work all day. I edited yesterday. We took some like downtime. I got some new shoes. Wait, let me show you. My room is also a mess. Nothing like super special, but I really wanted some black boots. And we went to Nordstrom. We went to Nordstrom to smell that perfume that everyone's talking about, the Baccarat Rouge 450. And it's very sweet, but everyone was talking about it, so I, we wanted to smell it, so we drove to San Antonio. But I got these. These were Steve Madden. And they're really, the shape is really pretty. And I really wanted some just black boots. Look at the heel. Aren't they pretty? And they, they look really good on. Yeah, that was about it. We went to smell that perfume yesterday. We've been working so much on all of the windows that we just kind of took a down day yesterday. So we're back at it today. The plumber is actually there today. So I've been printing out all of the specs for our different faucets and stuff. I did that a couple months ago, mixed up and thrown around. So I printed all of those. We're gonna go down to the house, work on the windows today, and also put in all of those like specs for him and mark where I want the faucets to be, like the height, because I have like some specific walls. Remark the island and the uh, so much plumbing drama you guys this plumber I, I like i like him but we've been through we've called like so many we've been through a couple if you guys remember the the, pl the plumber drama from before it's just gonna be a couple of days and he's gonna finish all the plumbing for the whole house so it's really really exciting so we gotta work today so you guys are gonna be along with us today are you enjoying <laughs> Are you enjoying the view with your coffee? I know, this view is amazing, isn't it? So peaceful. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have this view. <laughs> it's so quiet. The wind sounds incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, made it to the house. Denise is getting all set up. This is our little work area right here. She's getting set up to work on the windows today. And I have all of these plumbing papers they're you know just more details about our refrigerator oven faucets bathtubs you know type things i don't know i just try and provide as much information as i possibly can i also have to call today and see if we can get the siding rushed i don't know i'm not hopeful with the holiday but it's possible Fingers crossed. I have to call them today too. I have to mark off the island again too, like where it's at so that they know where to put the drain because that drain is in the wrong way. Basically, the other plumber had drilled the hole right in the middle of the sink instead of like back to the back of the sink so that I could actually use underneath the sink for storage. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know why he would have done that. tape on the ground again still fixing the floor but here's our island so it's four by eight and then that is our sink so it's a farmhouse sink it sticks out a little bit right there so i put our faucets and our water dispenser and then that's the oven over there and then the hood will be up and then the two windows will be on each side and then that's our refrigerator and just so that they know the information on each appliance i guess so if they need to look anything up they can so i can put that here dishwasher is going to be on this side of the island so right here and then our sink those are the faucets and our oven we'll put here let's go back here to let's go into the primary bathroom because i have the tub and that sort of stuff since our tub is a clawfoot i want the uh faucet to come out of the wall. So I kind of have to determine how high I want that to be. Heart is made of blood and stone, beats I feel like this whole clawfoot tub situation, you know, a house is like a living, breathing thing, like my mom describes it as, and things change and you have to kind of maneuver. And we were using older windows here 
and then the spacing that we needed for the weights shifted the window over so it wasn't like centered but then it had to be centered because there was just so much window. Then the rough in for the plumbing for the coffee tub was now a little off center. I'm gonna have to, when the plumber gets here, I'm gonna work with him on how to make this look balanced. Like everything just has to make up its mind here. It's like if the tub isn't centered and I put something pretty on this side, then the light also needs to be off center. Like we have to find a middle ground here. I'm having a little hard time with like this area. And then the guest bathroom is just like the straightforward tub and faucet. So I already have those papers. So waiting for the plumber to get here. It's window time. We've so much windows. We've, we've gotten through so many. We've done like 15 now, but we're halfway through. We have like 30, 32, something like that. <laughs> I'll never free my soul. Cause I've been serving twenty some years in the same old body with the same old fears following me around like a shadow. I can feel it, something good is coming down the line. And I can see it. <laughs> We're listening to Christmas music. It's so fun when you listen to Christmas music. It is. We're getting in the spirit. Yeah. Okay. She's killing it. I'm slow on the on the windowage. I was taping some things. We're gonna go grab some lunch and go to Home Depot because I feel like we need we need things. I need razors like for the glass because these are like really bad. These are the ones I bought. They're <laughs> horrible. I mean, they were the right size though, so they're just they just need a little love. Yeah. We're store and then hopefully by the time we get back, the plumber will be here so I can walk the little things with him, you know? Ooh. We need like a big Christmas tree for the cottage though. Like tall. Like we need like, this is actually a pretty tree. Oh, I don't like the colored light. Yeah, none of these are tall enough. Ooh, a white tree, can you imagine? Oh my God, yeah. But tall. We're gonna have to win the Christmas contest. Scope out the competition this year. Get the lay of the land so we know what we're up against for next year. I like that. Ah. Glass scraper. Blades, and it's easier to get off the, the paint. This comes in handy, right, that knife? Oh, and here's more blades, so we can replace that blade. 15 in one paint tool. What's the 15 things it does? <laughs> Okay, we made it back and we've got more tools this time. We got some scrapers and we feel like as we do more and more projects, we just have these tools. But I swear I brought, I brought, I just don't know what happened to it. All the projects has just gone, gone missing. So we've done three more windows. Got a lot more to do. It's kind of exciting that all of the windows are gonna be done and the parts that they have sided, you know, like in the guest bedroom over there and like partial of the, primary bedroom we could actually go ahead and put the windows in but i do want to paint all the siding first we're making some progress i'm really excited we actually went yesterday uh when i got those shoes from from nordstrom we went yesterday to the apple store because i've been <laughs> i keep seeing everyone film with their new iphone and you know i do so much filming and photography i have you guys want to know how many pictures i have on my phone i have 53,275 photos on my phone isn't that wild? And I have 6,383 videos, which is kind of absurd. I just, I take a lot of photos and a lot of video on my phone. So I've been jealous of everybody that's had it. And we went to the Apple store and they didn't have any 13s left. So I think I'm gonna have to order it online, but I definitely will get a case to five case for um, my new phone. So a big thank you to case to five for sponsoring today's video. I love working with them. I love sharing products that I love with you guys. I have successfully not cracked this phone in two years because I've had a case to buy case. This is their ultra impact case with the little bumpers on the side. I have dropped this phone off of ladders off for you guys just to show you. <laughs> She's good. No cracks. You can drop the ultra impacts up to nine and a half feet, I think. See? 
<laughs> She's good. Their Chi Tech 2.0 material is drop test approved for up to 9.8 feet with the ultra impact cases and six and a half feet for their impact cases. I love their cases because they're super slim. So it doesn't, you don't have like a brick on your phone. You know, those cases that are too bulky. They come in so many different prints. There's so many different ways that you can customize your phone cases too. So you can pick your favorite color, your favorite pattern. You can put your name or initials or sayings on the back. And Case Device new impact and ultra impact cases are made with 65% recycled and plant-based materials. And they have an antimicrobial coating on the top of them to keep germs away from your phone, killing 99% of bacteria. If you have wireless charging too, it, the cases are even compatible with those. I love my cases, you guys. I love this print <laughs> a lot. I go back to this one a lot. So if you guys are getting the new iPhone 13 or you have a phone without a case or you're getting a different new phone that you want a case for, you should definitely check out Case Divide and they also make great gifts with the holiday season coming up. So you can go to casedivide.com slash vlogs and get 15% off your order. So I will have to wait for the iPhone 13. I will or I won't order it. I don't know. When I'm in the mode right then, like when I was at, at the Apple store, I was like, I want it. I want to upgrade. And I've had this phone for two years. I was going to skip it, but it's just so good. Back to Windows. These are windows that I actually bought for the primary bedroom. I needed them a specific size because they had already framed out those windows. And you know, to go back and have to like change them, have them move the boards, we just weren't going to do that. So I took the measurement and I figured out a combination of window size that uh, I could get my hands on that would fit. So it's one, two, three, four but they were already that size so i found some place in san antonio called picker's paradise and i found some and they're a little odd because i couldn't find the same size top and bottom but i found a 40 for the bottom and a 32 for the top the bottom won't open all the way it's 40 inches you know what i mean like because it's going to be bigger but i actually like that because the bigger one on the bottom and the shorter one on the top really makes the room feel taller if it was bigger on the top and little on the bottom, it wouldn't make it, it's kind of an illusion. But they are in a rough, like rough shape. Look at this. Like we are having to sand like so much off, but look, whoever painted them, painted the glass and then also left the painter's tape on the window. Like that's horrible. That's just a bad job, Denise scraped off paint off the glass for like an hour earlier. She asked me how old they were. They look older than ours. Yeah. And some of them won't come off. Yeah. And some of them just like nothing. Okay guys, we have an update. I just got a call from the, the place that we get the siding from. If you haven't seen two renovation videos ago, I messed up. I am off. I will admit when I messed up. 100% all day long. I will. I will take the blame. What happened was <laughs> when we calculated the siding that we needed for back here in the addition, my contractor did this, the measurements. I'm crazy and did the calculations as well just to confirm. And I'm like, okay, we're good. Yes, we need 1,500 feet. Well, there's a little bit of a metric <laughs> difference. I ordered, when I ordered 1,500 feet, I didn't specify or I probably fully told them linear feet. And I actually needed 1,500 square feet worth of siding, not 1,500 linear feet of siding. That's a big difference. That was like half. I got half of what I needed. So they obviously were not able to side the rest of the house. So I called and I begged. <laughs> I've been getting so much from them. 
I was just like, anything, please, anything you can do. So went ahead and got it on order. He's like, it's the same price because, you know, wood prices fluctuate so much. It's the same price. He gave me a two-week lead time, which is better. That's Two weeks is better than, well, it's like the same. Two-week means like business days. So 12 to 15 days is like a two-week lead time. He said, but if we give him the ticket now, he's going to see what he can do. So if there's any way, it could be early. Do you know what I mean? Like anything that they can do. At least it's just only three weeks. That's not horrible. I think you're still good for mid-December. Mid-December. I just want it to be closed up before it gets so cold. It doesn't get too cold here, but still. Oh my gosh, you guys, just took a bath, washed off the day. We got back. Mom's making us very, I'm getting kind of jealous because my mom never cooks these like amazing recipes for just me and my dad. But Denise comes and my mom's like, look at me, I'm a chef. <laughs> so she's cooking us something amazing. It's coming along. I'm so excited. I just don't want to do the windows in batches anymore because I feel like it's this never ending project. Like the first time we did windows, we did 10 and then we still had 32 left. It was just, oh well, and 42 is a lot. So we did 10, we got them up and at least the front of the house was done ish but this time i want to get them all sanded and then all primed and then all painted and they're done and that project i can move on from you know and they're ready to go in look at this little baby look at you what did you do today did you hang out with your grandmama thank you i love you so much i can't wait for you to see the house you've only been there one time you didn't like it when we first bought it she was like what the heck is this you're precious. <laughs> okay, let's go see what, what mama's making, cooking, cooking up today. Oh, hey, mama. What's she making? <laughs> it smells amazing. I don't know. You don't know. You really don't know, do you? <laughs> I got it from my friend Susan. Oh, got a little water there. We got a little vegetable in here watch this, watch this. oh okay yeah i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready Ooh. Uh -huh. that looks scrumptious oh uh, yeah i love vegetables and salad oh no oh and we're watching football <laughs> of course <laughs> we had a lot of energy though working down there yeah. I mean, it was 99, 98, over 100, too. Oh, it was so hot. Here, practice. Starbucks espresso pods. These are really good, actually. Really good. I ordered a double batch this time. I get it on Amazon. We got the pot, the pans are all in there, and then we got, they have a new baking set. <sighs> These are my colors? No. I literally have, own these, own these. <laughs> She's trying to steal my pots and pans from me. What am I supposed to have? It goes with the whole Yeah. <laughs> they come with like the case. Like you can slide them out of there. Oh, it's magnetic. I'm so excited. We're gonna have pants when we move in. That's so exciting. I love them. Wow, mama. What is this called? Vegetable tortellini. Let's go with that. Okay, vegetable tortellini. Okay, taste test. 
Mm. I'll put the recipe down for you guys. It's like all the veggies. Zucchini, squash, bell pepper, red onion, mushroom, tomato with olive oil, pepper, garlic, tortellini, three cheese tortellini, fresh spinach, and pesto and parmesan. Wow. Scrumptious. We're gonna eat and then cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> Denise and I have been cuddling. <laughs> watching TV, watching Christmas movies. Yeah. <laughs> You're so nice. And I have editing to do. While we watch movies, yes. This is our cuddle time. <laughs> <laughs> we literally get in bed with our computers and we keep working. <laughs> and watch YouTube. And watch YouTube. Like, I don't know if we're more watch. I think I'm more watching YouTube than working. A little bit right now. Yeah. I'm distracted. We'll I had too. a lot of energy earlier and then I'm like... We spent it. Yeah. And now I'm just like nothing. Look at this little girl. Come here. You have to jump up here. You have to jump. You need to jump? Kids like... So, we are slightly working, more procrastinating watching YouTube. I've really been trying to wear these blue light, these are, I don't wear prescription glasses, but these are blue light glasses. They're pretty big, actually. But they're big enough to where I can see through them, like they don't hinder me looking at the screen. But I've been trying because I'm on the computer so much that I was starting to get kind of like headaches and stuff from staring at the computer so much. So, this has been helping a lot, actually. So, I've been remembering wear them but we're gonna do this for the rest of the night tomorrow we are gonna do more windows maybe even the rest of them <laughs> i think we got this i think we got the hang i got the hang of it now yeah finally, i think no me too yeah yeah let's like we're gonna crank them out tomorrow okay we're gonna start early i say that every day <laughs> yeah i've been saying that yeah <laughs> i have been saying that i'm literally just like don't well like Finish. hopefully well the plumber never came today so i don't know I, maybe i got the days mixed up no unlikely i'm very organized and planned um and no he's supposed to be here today he had some kind of like emergency plumbing situation that he needed to take care of in the morning so he's probably going to come tomorrow so he's there tomorrow i'm going to walk the property with him and like look you know just over all of the faucets and stuff i'm doing vlogmas this year so that's basically when you vlog and upload a video every day for the 25 days of christmas so from the first to the 25th or really kind of like the second through the 25th. When you're seeing this video, that's this week. Wild. I keep saying wild. Wild's my new word. <laughs> that's wild. Wild's my new word. So yeah, you heard it here. We're doing Vlogmas this year. Keep rhyming. I keep rhyming. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We're going to keep working. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. And watch TV. And then start it all over tomorrow. I'll see you in a couple of days. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> hey, little girl. Are you going to say bye? Do you want that baby? Where's your baby? Blink if you love mama. <laughs> blink if you love mama. She doesn't blink. Blink if you love mama. Oh, good girl.